Hello and welcome to the Tech Bytes audio cast. My name's Tim and I'm from the Open Bytes Blogger Z and with me is Dr. Roy Shesterwitz from the Tech Rights website. It's Friday night and I'm gonna get sauce. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He tried to boss me and was outbossed. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost Underneath his creeper bridge Hoping goats will cross Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge I fought the Right, hello and welcome to episode 55 of the Tech Bytes audio cast. It's myself, Tim, and Roy here today. And we've got a plethora of subjects to talk about for Friday the 15th of July 2011. Today we're going to be looking at Google's amazing Android growth. We're going to be looking at Google Plus, its new social networking uh, feature, uh, service. We're going to be looking at Ubuntu's decline in the news, or the allegations of Ubuntu declining, and I think this is going to be a subject that myself and Roy will disagree on. We're going to be speaking about Sabian Linux 6, the quick release schedule of Mozilla Firefox, I believe, and I'm reading this from Roy's show notes, I presume that's what... uh, he wishes to talk about today and we're also going to be looking at KDE 4.7 release candidate. In the midst of all that I'm going to be mentioning a few things about ArtistX which is an Ubuntu based uh, distribution aimed at the more creative souls amongst us. I'm also going to be looking at Icarus as well which is uh, an Aros project which hopes to bring back an Amiga style form of computing so that's quite interesting as well. So without further ado I think Roy's going to start us off with the first topic of the day and uh, Roy I'll pass it straight over to you. I think uh... It's been a while since we did a show on a Friday night, and I think it matches the uh, opening track that we have, well, which speaks about a Friday night. Uh, and also, this is the first time I do some notes before the show. Uh, not so many notes, just basically a couple of words about things that I thought we could touch on. Uh, so the first thing I had written down was news from, I believe, yesterday uh, about Google. Uh, so Google's in the news for all sorts of reasons, and I think they're more in the news now than many of the other companies, including uh, uh, Microsoft and perhaps Apple as well. Um, I think that Google is very close now to being the third or fourth most valuable tech company. I think it's fourth at the moment. Uh, and having posted some really positive results, uh, seeing the stock going, uh, I think, up about 12%. I think they do come close to um, joining the top three tech companies in terms of the market cap. Uh, And the other three, of course, would be, uh, the other two would be uh, uh, Apple and IBM. Uh, IBM actually passed Microsoft about two months ago, I believe, and we were mentioning this on the show. Uh, And Apple passed Microsoft last year. I think we're now at an interesting position where... Uh, if you look at 2010, so that's just about a year from now, or a year and a half, uh, Microsoft was the number one company in terms of uh, market cap, and people appropriately had some respect for, com- for, for a company like Microsoft being the most, you know, supposedly most valuable based in Wall Street. Uh, and now, Microsoft could be dropping to fourth quite soon. Uh, and this leads us to the news about Android, and uh, I think this is something you've seen as well. Um, they basically, amidst all the, uh, you know, talks about patents in a hotel and stuff like that, uh, we have Google speaking about the number of sales of, uh, of Android, and perhaps you can uh, take it from yeah, here. And explain. Uh, I mean, from what I've read, and again, we have to stress these figures, uh, we're quoting what we're reading, uh, it seems to be corroborated by many sources, and 550,000 uh, activations a day, I believe, is, is the current figure. That's certainly the one I've been seeing. Now, I've made quite a few uh, comments on this because we talk about Microsoft and maybe dropping its position um, compared to other other companies. And it's easy to see that this there's possibly a lot of truth in in the whole Android sales the figures that we've, we've been given. Uh, and firstly, the reason why I say that is because we have allegations that Microsoft is making less money on Windows Phone 7 than it is on the aggression it uh, has towards Android and certain uh, providers. Uh, HTC, I believe, it uh, extracts uh, revenue from, and a few other companies. Samsung is one, I believe. Roy, correct this me is, there. This I'm is something I'm finding a bit um, uncertain now. 
uh, because according to a report from Reuters uh, published about six days ago, five days ago, uh, Microsoft wants about $15 per phone that runs Android uh, mm. from Samsung. Now, Samsung did sign a deal involving Linux related something uh, with Microsoft in 2007. I think it was the middle of 2007, so think around you know July maybe or mm. June 2007. So that was four years ago. Uh, it wasn't clear what they paid for, it wasn't clear what patents are involved, and I just assumed that they will in some way, even in bulk basically, in an implicit way, uh, pay Microsoft for things to do with Android. Uh, Samsung itself has loads of patents, so Microsoft also has a, has a reason to, to try and sign a deal with Samsung. Uh, Samsung is a much bigger company than, uh, than Microsoft. Um, but now, the thing is, they probably want to put a sort of tariff on, um, on Android, and I know the one of the quoted figures uh, w which we know about when it comes to Android is the five dollars, and the only source we have for that is just one banker who was mentioning the HTC uh, uh, phone and price. I, I don't know if it's true, and it's dubious source, especially when one person says it, and everybody just repeats that. Uh, the Five dollars is is a fairly small figure, and I think HTC is the only major company which we know for sure pays Microsoft for Android. Mm -hmm. The other small companies they signed up with, the Microsoft boosters will try and tell you, oh, Microsoft is signing up all those companies, five companies, six companies. No, no, it's really one company that actually sells and proper, you know, sells in with quantities. The other ones are very symbolic ones. And even though Microsoft did try to extract money from more companies like Motorola, they basically take it to court because they got sued back. And getting lots of trouble, so Microsoft is a bit afraid of the of going after big companies like Sony. And Sony has just released a, uh, I believe it's a tablet that's running Android. Uh, yes. Point something. It's really quite important. I think cause lots of people will look at the Sony uh, um, brand and just think, oh, that's that's going to be good quality. And we mustn't forget as well uh, before we go a little bit off topic that uh, Amazon have got their uh, tablet coming out October, I believe, yeah. this year. Um, which will be also be Android based, yeah. which is uh, something that Microsoft may have its uh, eyes to set towards as well. But just going back very quickly to the five dollars per per unit, and, and like Roy says, we don't know the figure. That might be excessively higher than the actual value. It might be very very much lower than the real value. But the people that the thing that a lot of people don't consider or maybe haven't thought about is that this price or tariff that's being put on Android phones, regardless of the manufacturer, will affect the end user. Um, it will affect the end user ultimately in price. Now, if, as some have suggested, the, a figure could be $15 a, a handset, that extra cost for providing a, an Android handset is going to have to come from somewhere. And as history has shown us with many other products, it always comes from the end user. Um, it's a very sad state of affairs for Microsoft investors too, I would suggest, because what it's saying to me when I'm looking at these allegations and these uh, the claims that Microsoft is making on Android, that Microsoft can't make money from its own platform, its own Windows Phone 7 platform. And we've seen some alleged sales figures, I think, of 1.6 million units sold for um, the Windows Phone 7. Now, if that figure's true, we're looking at Android having beaten that within a couple of days. Yet, the total figures for... Uh you have to be careful, because activations doesn't mean sales. No, and certainly I not. It, but I, I, think it's a, I think it's a given that a Android is hideously more popular than uh, the Windows Phone 7 platform. Now, like I was saying, it's a very sad state of affairs if Microsoft is attacking these uh, Android providers and not making any money on its own native platform. So that, that says a lot to investors as well. So I don't think anybody can gleam any sort of satisfaction or any sort of told you so from, from this whole scenario because everybody's losing out here. The Microsoft investors will lose out because people aren't buying the Microsoft products in the first place. And the end user will lose out because if they do choose a mobile phone, the extra cost, I would suggest, would ultimately be passed on to them. So it's lose-lose for everybody. Um, that was my 10 pence worth over the over the Android. But like uh, like I was saying a few minutes ago, and I'll go back to, um, Amazon are releasing a tablet in uh, in October, and it'll be very interesting to see what occurs with that. I believe uh, the Kindle had a few issues um, in the past. Roy, I don't know if you can uh, elaborate I on think Kindle uses a very old version of the Linux kernel. Uh, the version that they use with a special kind of X uh, session uh, to keep the... Uh, one thing they had to do was comply with the GPL uh, and push back the changes they made to to the uh, to the the Linux component of whatever platform they have their own platform basically for Kindle 
they don't use Android to do that. I think uh, I think the Nuke is actually using Android in some ways because it's packaged nicely and with GUIs and everything else. But uh, what Android was doing though, it's had to comply with the GPL. It had to push some pack.